Hi, this is Jeremiah with Josh's Frogs. I'm here to talk about one of our newest breeding projects. This is the crowned tree frog, also known as the spiny-headed tree frog or the coronated tree frog. Scientific name is Anatheca spinosa. It is monotypic in its genus, meaning it's the only species in its genus. It is closely related, however, to other cask-headed tree frogs, uh, such as those in Triprion genus. So you can see on the top of its head, it has these bony protrusions, which grow larger as they grow. They're native to Central America, from Southern Mexico, down through Honduras, Costa Rica, um, Panama, and they're often heard but not seen because they live in bromeliads and um, water-filled tree holes, which is where they actually lay their eggs. Um, they're unique among tree frogs in that their frog or their tadpoles actually eat the eggs that their, um, their mother lays for them. And she'll end up visiting the site that she has tadpoles in 15 to 30 times in the development of the tadpoles. And as they grow, they start to sprout these little legs and then their front legs. And at this point, they're not eating the eggs anymore. And eventually they pop out of the water. After about a month and a half to two months is what we've noticed in captivity. And they're these very cute little striped and spotted frogs that look like almost miniature versions of the adults without the spiny heads. So care for them is pretty simple. For the froglets, we have had success keeping them with cork tubes on water or just in 128 quart bins like this one or other plastic bins with clean, moist paper towel and sphagnum moss. For the adults, they can be kept in a naturalistic setting with a large water bowl, but in order to induce breeding, they generally need large cork tubes kept above water. So what we'll do is just fill something at adequate size for a group um, of adults, so maybe 18 inches by 18 inches and we'll fill the bottom with about three inches of water and then put cork tubes in it, live plants, bromeliads, and allow them to choose where they want to lay the eggs. Tadpoles will wriggle free, fall into the water, and then what the tadpoles will actually do is swim up to the mother when she inserts her cloaca into the water and they'll stimulate her to lay more eggs for them to feed on them, which is a very unique thing among tree frogs. There's only a few species, maybe three tree frogs that do this. Um, so that being said, the tadpoles have to be kept with the mother because they'll spend much of their time feeding and doing so on eggs. We haven't noticed them to really thrive on other foods, especially at the beginning. So we keep them above water where the tadpoles have access to the mother so that she can lay eggs for them. So if we look in this enclosure here, you can see eggs actually laid on the cork tubes. Some of these will be fertilized and they will fall into the water. Whereas when there are more larger tadpoles in the water to stimulate the females, she'll lay unfertilized eggs for them to consume. If we look in this cork tube, we can see more eggs here. So they're pretty prolific breeders. And again, some of these may be unfertilized just for the tadpoles to eat. These are a rather large frog and they do enjoy having either a large water bowl or a tank like this where they have access to water at the bottom. You can see an adult here just in a PVC tube that's silicone to the back of the wall. It sort of mimics a crevice or a hole that they would like to hide in.